if you've been following me for a while, then you'll notice a couple of things different about today's video. I decided to incorporate accessories in between the bigger projects in hopes that I'm able to post more frequently. And what better way to do so than my first video collab. This video is in collaboration with Angelina over at Blueprint DIY. She also did a video on her version of the bucket bag using recycled material. She also does DIY fashion videos and I love her style. So be sure to check her out afterwards. All the links are in the description box below. Now let's get started. Here are the bunch of belts that I had on hand. If you follow me on the gram then you know the story behind these belts. This is the color palette that I initially went with. For my layout we have the base which this belt will be attached to. These three will run horizontal and this one vertical. Same goes for these two which will also double as shoulder straps so I made sure they were the same width. I used this belt to attach to the base because it was already in the shape that I wanted. This was due to the way it was previously stored. I started by removing the belt closure then clipping the corners of the base to match the belt. Using my ruler and tracing wheel I marked a line on the belt a quarter inch from the edge. This was done on all four sides. Taking the base, I bent the edges approximately half inch to attach the belt. I then used my glue gun to hold them together for the next step. Afterwards, I used the awl to make stitching holes following the line made by the tracing wheel. Here's what that looks like and as you can see, I followed the line making a hole every half inch. Next, taking a piece of heavy duty thread, I placed a needle on either end, then did what's called a saddle stitch. To complete the base, I closed the sides with a zigzag stitch coupled with the saddle stitch. Okay, so here's where I made some changes to the color scheme. I replaced the shoulder straps for the wider belts and used a smaller one for the horizontal panel. Starting with the smaller belts, I removed the buckles then measured the perimeter of the base to cut them the same length. Once I was done, I also cut the belt for the vertical panels in half, with each piece measuring 12 inches. As for the other two belts, I kept one buckle intact to join them at the shoulders. First, I had to determine how much length of the vertical strips would be needed to attach the base. Taking that into account, I measured 3 inches from the bottom of the strip to start my first groove. Okay, so I spaced the belts 2 inches apart with each groove measuring 1.5. The small belts were an inch wide but I added a half inch for extra wiggle room. Next, using a piece of tile as my cutting surface, I carefully cut only along the length of the grooves. Here are all the vertical strips cut and ready to go. As you saw, I made all the markings on the wrong side. 
to attach them to the sides of the base, I also used the saddle stitch. Now it was time to thread the small belts through the grooves. With the bag now finally taking shape, I closed the sides using a zigzag stitch in combination with the saddle. I then tucked the seams under the grooves to conceal them. To keep the video short, I won't go into too much detail here, but I basically cut two pieces of canvas. One, the size of the base, and the other, the perimeter of the bag, plus the height adding six inches. Not shown here, but I did add an interior pocket later on. After piecing the bag together, I folded the top over one and a half inch with allowance, then inserted the grommets following the instructions on the pack. Taking the cord, I fed it through the grommets, then made a knot on each end. I then reused the piece from one of the buckles to substitute as a cord stopper. This knapsack includes four parts, a cap, socket, post, and stud. Here I have the cap and socket which I inserted at all four corners of the base. Same was done to the canvas using the post and stud. Lastly, I placed another four snaps at the top on each joint. Because the joints were too thick to insert the snaps, I had to improvise by attaching them to a piece of leather before sewing them on with heavy duty thread. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel and possibly one of Angelina's subscribers, I hope that you consider subscribing. On that note, I want to say a big thank you to Angelina for collabing with me. Don't forget to check her out and watch her video over at Blueprint DIY. All the links are included below. Also, drop me a comment below. Let me know if you like the idea of me doing accessories here on my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.